this is <laughs> this is the way I picture it in my head is by Brian Van Winkle. The scene starts in a blackout. Throughout the play, when the writer says stage directions out loud to performed by the characters, before the lights come up, the writer's voice is heard. Lights up on a rundown bar. Lights up on a rundown bar and some stools. Mike is behind the bar and Steve is on a stool in front. They are both frozen in place as the writer sets up the scene. The bar seems to have, in past times, been a more fashionable location. There is an old pool table with patches of felt missing from overuse, a dartboard with three darts sticking out of it from an unfinished game, and a television hanging on the wall still waiting for the cable repairman to come by. Mike, the proprietor, is behind the bar entertaining Steve, the last customer of the evening who is almost done with his fourth white Russian with a joke. So then Adam says to God, what will it cost me? And God says, an arm and a leg. And Adam says, what can I get for a rib? <laughs> they both glass hysterically. Uh, 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 what can I get for a rib? Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, I'm closing up. Time to pay your tab and get out. Hello? I, I just got here, Mike. One more Caucasian for the room. Hey, you've already had three last calls. It's time to get out of here. Okay, okay, no more. I'll switch to vodka soda. Hilarious. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so what, you're just going to throw me out onto the street, huh? Yeah. Is that it? Just leave me in this state for some gangster to come guy and then take advantage? Is that how you treat a friend? Yep. He starts guiding Steve to the door. Fine. But when I wind up in the obituaries tomorrow morning, don't you come crying to me. Sure thing about it. Sure thing, Steve. Why don't you just step outside while I try to make sense of that? Steve, enterings, uh, uh, Steve exits, muttering drunkenly. Mike starts cleaning up and humming to himself. I'm off already? Hmm. A little bit of cliche banter and I'm gone? I think he's reviewing what he's got so far. Reviewing? He's written a page. I know. Jesus, he'll never be done at this rate. Oh, he's editing. So what, you're just gonna throw me out onto the street, huh? Is that it? Just, just leave me in this state for some gangster to come by and take advantage of? Is that how you treat a friend? Just leave me in this state for some hooligan to come by and take advantage of me? Is this how you treat a friend? Hooligan? What am I, 60? <laughs> Is that it? Give him a minute. I'm getting kind of hungry. Focus. No, 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 I've got to keep writing. Okay, all right. You've already had three last calls. It's time for you to get out of here. Come on, pay your tab. 25 bucks. Steve takes out his wallet and pulls out two bills. 25? This is extortion. I'm okay with that. There. No tip? Here's one. Lower your prices. Your generosity truly knows no bounds. Time to go, Steve. A genius addition. You got more lines. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Ryder begins pacing around, thinking. Okay. Okay, I'm closing down the bar. Now what? Good question. Chill out, man. Hey, am I, com am I coming on anytime soon? Not yet, Jenny. Hold on. Who's this? Uh, I think she's going to be my wife. Laura's girlfriend. He's not really sure yet. Jesus, guy can't make up his mind about anything. Oh, come on, come on. What's next? He's never going to get to me, is he? <sighs> not at this rate. Ryder stops facing. Looks like he's ready. They ready themselves to continue, but nothing happens. What's going on? OMG, Mr. Mittens is so cuddly. Uh, what? <laughs> Girls night out. What's wrong with him? Dude, did you hear about Pete and Nicole? What do you mean? Oh no, he's gone on to Facebook. Nicole Carmona is no longer in a relationship. What? No way! Oh, for crying out loud. Hey! Hello? Hello, you there? Huh? What, what, what is it? What are you doing? Well, what do you mean? Oh, oh, I get it. You're trying to uh, draw inspiration from Christine's picture of her cat? I'm, uh, I'm taking a break. Taking a break? You've written a page! I'm gonna be entering at some point, right? Uh, of course you are. I, I was just after Steve left, I was trying to think of how I would continue, and then I saw Alan had posted this thing on my wall, and... Unbelievable! <laughs> alright, alright, fine. Let's get back, I'll, I'll get back to work. Okay. So, Mike is closing up the bar. Uh, before we go on, is there any way you can change my name? Mike seems so boring. No, not right now.
right now. Get back to work. I'm not. Mike continues to close up the bar as Jenny enters. Well, it's nice to see businesses booming. We just closed, honey. You should have seen us last night. We had twice as many people as this. <laughs> she looks around the empty bar. I believe it. <laughs> they greet each other with a kiss. Uh, can I make you a drink? I would love a drink. Mike goes to make her one, but she stops it. But I shouldn't. I'm pregnant. You can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have a drink. I'm pregnant. Don't you think that's a little blunt? What's wrong with that? It, it, it gets right to the point. Defines the character. So when do I come back on? Not until the next scene. <laughs> Look, just keep going. Jen, if it doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't. we'll change it later. Pregnant, are, are you sure about this? Well, I was skeptical for the first two tests, but the third convinced me. Jesus, <laughs> a baby. I, I don't really know what to say. Are we ready for this? Ready has nothing to do with it. There are. It's coming. <laughs> there are alternatives. <laughs> no. I want this. I think we can handle it, together. Who knows? Maybe this is what we need right now. I suppose. Mike, we can do this. It's going to be tough laying off the booze for nine months. <laughs> you sure you're up for that? Of course, Mike. It'll be worth it in the end. We're a family. See, it just doesn't yeah, sound it doesn't right. <laughs> Some problem, Mike? Well, it just sounds, I don't know. How should I put this? Underwhelming. Mike? <laughs> My uncle's name is Mike. <laughs> Mike, we'll have a family. Mike, I'm having a baby. It, it just doesn't sound momentous enough with a monosyllabic name, you know? Would you prefer Michael? <laughs> Maybe. All right, here. Michael, we can do this. It's going to be tough laying off the booze for nine months. Are you sure you're up for that? Of course. Michael, it'll be worth it in the end. We'll be a family. Better? I guess. <laughs> Good, then let's keep going. So, should we get married? Oh, so we aren't married yet. No, I just decided. <laughs> so, should we get married then? Romantic proposal. Ah, I'm sorry. I just don't really know what to do. We can... Uh, don't forget, I say his name, too. <laughs> it's okay if you call him Mike. You're just a customer. Actually, I'd prefer if he didn't. Oh, God damn it. Fine. Okay, where is it? Let me think. Jenny leaves stage and Steve returns to position. Heck, yeah. All right, Steve, I'm close enough. Time to pay a tab and head out. Head out? No, I just got here, Michael. Uh, one more Caucasian for the road. All right. Yeah. Michael. <laughs> So, should we get married? Romantic proposal. Oh, I'm sorry, but isn't that kind of par for the course in this kind of scenario? Sure, 50 years ago, but not so much today. We do have a choice, though, Mike. Shit, right, right, right. We have a choice, Michael. <laughs> well, to be entirely honest, this is something I've already been considering. Yeah, sure it is. Michael pulls a ring box from his pocket and puts it on the bar in front of her. She looks at this in amazement. Oh, my God. Guess we'll just have to make the arrangements a little sooner than I planned on. Oh, Michael. She runs over to him, and they have a long, tender embrace. Oh, what if the baby was actually mine? Oh, screw you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it might be a good twist up. Something to think about. <laughs> Wait, what, so what exactly is going on? What, what do you mean? Uh, you're, propo uh, you're telling him you're pregnant, and he proposes. Yeah, yeah. And what? What else is going on? I'm pregnant. Let's get married. I love you. It just feels kind of masturbatory. It's exposition, getting it out of the way to get the story along. What story? A couple is having a kid. Big whoop. It happens to a lot of people. And she has a point. Where is this going? Okay, look. This is where I eventually plan on taking the story. <laughs> Please, Michael. I'm sorry. I'll try to make it up to you. No, Shut up, Jenny. Just shut up. I'm through with you. You don't care about me. You didn't care enough about our child. The only person you care about is yourself. That's not true. I love you, Michael. I thought you did. And I loved you. But that's all 
over with. But now, whenever I look at you, all I think about is that <laughs> poor little girl. Get out! Go! Jenny, Jenny hesitates, trying to come up with something to say. Unable to speak, she rushes out sobbing. After a moment, a single shot is heard. Whoa! I kill myself? <laughs> Eventually, yeah. <laughs> but I'm pregnant. Actually, at the end of the first act, you relive, relapse on your alcoholism, and in the second act, you miscarry your child. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> hey! It makes good drama. People eat that shit up. I know. <laughs> Isn't there another way you can go where she doesn't lose the kid? <laughs> well... I had another idea of what could happen. Oh, how does that one go? Steve. Everybody, everybody on the fucking floor! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is something my character would do. <laughs> well, of course, there would need to be some rewrites. Steve, how could you? Don't blame me, it's this guy! <laughs> I thought it would be a good twist if it turns out Steve has been coming to the bar so much because he's a collector for the mob, and he's here to collect your gambling debts. How do I know anybody in the mob? <laughs> uh, you just do. Oh, so wait. How do things end with this plot happening? Well, uh... if you don't get that money out here right now, she ain't making her due date. You got it? <laughs> oh, God. No, just hold on. Where's the fucking money? I don't have Where's it. the fucking money, Mike? Not my name. Uh, where's the fucking money, Michael? <laughs> Three! I don't have it, please. Two! I... No! One! Wait! Lights out, a gunshot is heard. Shit! Another gunshot is heard. Really? Lights come back on. So I die too? Why do I die in both scenarios? You said you didn't want to have a miscarriage. And your solution? <laughs> your solution is to kill the rest of us. I don't die? Shut up. Everybody calm down. How can I buy the ring if I was in debt to the mob? Is there a way that I can if I'm working for the mob, is a ski mask necessary? <laughs> Hold on, just give me a minute to think about this. Everyone quiets down as the writer's cell phone goes off. He pulls it out of his pocket just before he answers it. Jenny whispers. Baby killer. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Alan, what's up? Oh, man, Chevy sounds great right now, but I'm kind of working on something. Who's all going? Oh, really? Oh, she is. Nicole enters. Hey, I'm really glad you could make it out tonight. Uh, yeah, I almost didn't, to be honest. I was busy working on my play. Oh my god, you're a writer? No way, that's super awesome. What's your play about? Oh, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't get into it. It's a little bit of a tearjerker. No, you have a sensitive side? Yeah, well... Oh, huh? Oh, right. Um, I, uh... I got it. How about Gregory? Yeah, I'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> I've heard about this. This always happens. I've heard about you and Pete. I'm so sorry. I heard about you and Pete. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay, though. You never really understood me. Oh, how terrible. Damn it! This always happens. That's right. If he doesn't finish his play in a month, I'm becoming an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs>